Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and I'm going to show you an example of how our homes can be a toxic environment for radio listening. I have two types of lighting in my kitchen, one that I never turn on because it's hell in noise, and one that I turn on all the time because that's pretty much what I have uh, that works well. Well, I've got a few actually, i got four different lightings in my kitchen. So right now, the light in my kitchen is my oven. So just above my oven, there's a um, there's a light um, uh, where it's an incandescent bulb. So of course, it doesn't create any noise. Over my um, my uh, counter, I have a fluorescent uh, lighting system that also is relatively quiet. It's pretty surprising. The other lights that I have are um, an incandescent bulb uh, in the ceiling and a um, allergen type lamp that uh, looks like this so here it goes guys this is the lamp that I have so it's very beautiful it's a really nice lamp uh, here's the ceiling setup but it has one major flaw and it's that it has a switching power supply to give power to all of it. So we're gonna do a little demonstration here. Here's Radio Havana Cuba, albeit not the best, but still on telescopic. Um, or whatever, you know, whatever I'm gonna tune that could be have a better signal. There goes, this is Radio Martin. Let's turn on the incandescent bulb from the ceiling. Nothing. Doesn't change the noise, doesn't do anything to interfere. The only thing we might hear is a click from when I switch on and off, but that's it. Now, I'm going to switch it off. And we're going to switch the lamp from hell. <laughs> the allergen lamp that I have. And it just tells you that there's no more shortwave reception. Shortwave is gone. This is the lamp now. Of course, it's light up, lit up. It's beautiful. Except that it's hell so you know you got to be careful what you have in your home because that is a big 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 chunk of the noise you have in your radios and any shortwave radio um, newbie out there doesn't understand that because they don't know that their lighting system in their home might be actually producing a lot of noise now let me turn it off Look at that, Radio Marti's back. So this is a demonstration that what you have in your home is definitely something to look at. Your lighting systems, uh, every little power transformer you have plugged in for some devices, you know what? Unplug them, check if it changes the noise in your home. You would be surprised. You might see that one device creates tons of noise. It's important to understand that because a lot of people probably give up on shortwave because their home is simply a radio frequency interference hell. And they don't understand that their own lighting systems, their own um, devices they have might actually be the problem. Yes, there's possibility that it's not you. And that we'll discuss in another video, but... Um, this is a great example of how your own home can actually be uh, a, R, a radio frequency interference hell and your radios just don't get anything because of that. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.